In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we pray in this Holy Mass for the unity of our Church. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our sins to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace in our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given, through the Spirit, the expression of wisdom. To another, the expression of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, mighty deeds to another prophecy, to another discernment of spirits, to another varieties of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit produces all of these, distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars, therefore do ceremonial washings each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tested the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from. Although the servers who had drowned the water knew, the hot waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first. And then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of, this, of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory. And his disciples began to believe in him, the gospel of the Lord. Into the I seen his bad spirit this morning. 
And to read this gospel appear the figure of the Virgin Mary, our mother, mother of Jesus, but our mother. And she is a good intercessor for us, intercessor before Jesus Christ, his son. She saw that in that wedding, the wine is short, and she told his son, they have no wine. And Jesus is obedient son. In the beginning said, what is the problem? It's not my problem. But after he is obedient with Mary, and he is, and he presents and he reveals his power, transform water in wine. This is good history and good example for us. Jesus, the only begotten Son, is obedience. Obedience is a beautiful and important virtue for our life, for our spiritual life. Obedience feels first of all to Jesus Christ, to God, to his teachings is good for us. And when the wine is not enough in our life, look at Mary and pray to Mary, Mother, help me. Intercede for me before your son, before God. Mary always is near to us and always intercedes for us before Jesus Christ. This is the first point in this gospel. Mary is God intercessor, is our mother. And the second point is the wine. What does the mean? Just is not just the liquor for that wedding. It's other things for us. The wine is the love. Human love is not enough. When appear the problems, when appear the temptations, the difficulties, normally the wine of love is enough. In that moment, it's very important to remember that we need the, God love, the God's love. The new wine is the God's love. And this is the new wine that Jesus Christ came give to us. Remember that when your strength is not enough, remember that you need to God. Not just in that moment, always, but especially in that moment. When the witness appear in our life, look at Jesus. Lord, I need your grace. I need your love. I need your help. Today, let us ask in the bottom of our, our heart to Jesus Christ, Lord, give me new wine in my life. The wine of your love, the wine of your life. Let us pray on silent. Now, together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. <clears throat> Pontius Pilate. He suffered death <clears throat> on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> like the couple in Cana, we invite the Lord Jesus, Mary, and the apostles to our celebration. We invoke their names and we turn to God in prayer. For Christian unity, that all may be one as Jesus prayed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, races, and religious groups, that Martin Luther King's dream of peace be fulfilled among us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For lawmakers and healthcare workers, that they work to protect the sanctity of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the unemployed and underemployed, that they find work with a living wage, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for this community that we heed Mary's call to do whatever Jesus tells us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you give us your Son in the Eucharist. Strengthen us through this sacrament to do, you, to do your will on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it, is <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> you 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy. I just will enter on my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our hymn during communion is We Are Many Parts, number 583.
So my pain is paid for you. In your joy is my joy too. All is brought together in the Lord. We are many parts. We are spirit of love make us one indeed one the love that we share one our hope in despair one the cross that we Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.